All right, Cooper, so what are you doing? I am doing one of the weekly tasks in cleaning out the glass tanks. And tomato frogs happen to be in this tank. Okay. What can you tell me about tomato frogs? They are from Sabava, Madagascar. These ones are? Yeah. What kind of tomato frogs are those? These ones are actually called false tomato frogs. The real tomato frogs are actually an endangered species in Madagascar. Okay. These are still really cool. One of my favorite frogs. Yep. With, with all frogs, I mean, they secrete a toxin, but these guys kind of secrete a little sticky stickiness and they puff up at you. Okay. So if you ever do get a tomato frog, make sure you wash your hands before and after holding them. Okay. Take why would you wash? Why would you wash your hands before you handle them? Just because they absorb um, like all the dirt and particles and of nastiness on your hands uh -huh. you can get absorbed through their skin and it can cause them to get sick and, and just bad for them. Okay. So that's why I would wash my hands before holding them. Okay, that's a good idea. That makes sense. What kind of cage habitat do they need? Like what are you about to start? Well, what are you going to do right now? What are you spraying in the cage? What are you wiping it down with? This is wipeout. It's one of what we use to clean all our glass tanks. It's ammonia free. So when you when you clean the glass, you, you want to use ammonia free because they absorb stuff to their skin. Okay. And you, you don't want to use any harmful, harmful uh, chemicals. chemicals. Okay. Um, they, they require pretty humid. Madagascar's are pretty humid. Pretty humid place. So I'm going to clean all the glass and all that. I'm going to put some orca bark in there. Put some uh, ice clean sphagnum moss. Okay. Some hiding spots for them. All right. It'd be pretty cool. About how warm do you, do you normally keep them? I know you keep these at home. What what temperatures do you keep yours at? I keep them. I have a little heat pad on one side, and it's, it gets in, in that area. It gets about 80, 85. Okay, and so in, warm but not too warm. Yeah, warm but not not too warm. I, I just keep the keep it warm to increase the humidity. And on the cold side, it gets like 70, 75. Maybe okay. a little colder, especially since it's starting to get cold right now. Okay. I would, I would try to keep it about, about 85 on the hot side, 80, and then 70, 75 on the cold side. Okay. Well, and with the basic heat pad, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, what kind of substrate do you use? I know here we're using the orchid bark. What do you use at home? At home, I use plantation soil because these are actually a burrowing species. Mm -hmm. So they'll actually burrow into you make little holes and they'll burrow into it. Okay. They're, they're an ambush predator, so they'll wait for the crickets, crickets to pass by, get them. <laughs> um, in mine, I, I have live plants in it. Okay. It's pretty. They don't destroy your live plants? They don't knock them over they, or anything? They kind of do. <laughs> they kind of do. I've had to use quite a few different kinds. What kinds do you have in there right now? Do you know? Um, do you use the pothos? Those ones with the big... Uh... Um, I, I use the pothos. They, they just destroyed that one. Oh. I have five and they, you know, it's like bigger than a 20 gallon and they just would jump all over it and the crickets would eat them. Oh, okay. So the... Do you, so what are you using now? Are you using like just a, a thicker leaf plant because then they can't smush it? I, I, yeah, I mean, the, I'm not sure what the plant is, but it is it does have pretty thick leaves on it. Okay. Cool. So how much uh, bedding are you putting in there for them? I want to put about an inch. Since these guys are these guys are pretty little, so it gives them some gives them enough enough uh, enough to burrow in. Okay. Cool. And then, so this is the sphagnum moss that you were talking yeah, about earlier. Yeah, sphagnum moss. It'll uh, it'll also increase the humidity of the tank as well since it holds moisture. Okay. No, and they like to burrow in it. Yeah, so, and you're putting quite a bit in there. Uh, why was that? Why is it good? Cause just since they are a burrowing species and since since it will increase the humidity, it'll retain the moisture. And since our heat pads are on this side of the tank, when we put it in there, the it'll help evaporate. Okay, that makes sense. And, and these then are the hiding little, spots. Yeah, give them some little cork flats. And the water bowl, keeping it clean. Definitely. Cool. Adding fresh water. I put them in, they're just gonna hop away, hopefully. Normally that's what they do. Yeah. There they are. They're super cute little frogs. Yeah. Oh, look, there you go. And that's it, that's basic tomato frog care. <laughs>